Hello, hello YouTube, my name is Mitzer and welcome back to some more Pokemon Renegade Platinum. The last we left off, I had just gotten all terrain caught and I decided to train up all terrain real quick off screen. Got a, I got her to level 11. She wanted to learn nature power, but eh, nature power is not a good move. So at least in my opinion, it's not that great. So I just decided to not teach it. And we are gonna move, actually, I wanna get that Pokeball. We were gonna move on through this row. Is this a, I'm gonna talk to the Shroomish real quick. If I can catch this, honestly. Do I have an orange berry? I don't even have a berry of any sort, damn. That might be an event that we can catch that Shroomish. I would uh, honestly like to have that as a potential backup grass type. Not gonna lie. That would be very, very helpful, in all honesty. Double battle. Uh, okay, well, I think I have, I have Esmeralda and Laughtail up front. I should be okay. One of them said something about Zubat, the other one said something about Jing. It's Shinx. Well. This could be interesting. Damn. I'm really getting fed up with this early Intimidate. Every Shinx has Intimidate, and it's getting real annoying. I'm just gonna take it out. The bright side, that means it doesn't have static. Which is a good thing. Ooh, let's see here. Does it boost the Krikatot too? No. See, in later gens, maybe this was only implemented in Gen 9, like Scarlet and Violet. Ooh, crit mattered. Um, but how would have boosted the Krikatot's attack right there too? Damn, that bug bite did a lot. Use Razor Leaf and cut it on the. Maybe I should used Bite and went for the flinch, but it, I don't think it mattered. I really don't. That Sanchu is actually pretty fast too. Not gonna lie. <laughs> he killed the Cricket Hut. Oh wait, now my Razor Leaf is gonna do boosted damage because it's solo. Crits! Damn! Laughtail's going in. Okay, Zubat, I'm probably gonna swap out Laughtail. Oh, actually. No, I'm not risking this. No way am I risking this. Going into Almighty. And I'm gonna use Covet. Honestly, slightly amazed that they didn't go for Pursuit there. They went for supersonic on Esmeralda. Please, Esmeralda, snap through it. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the rock tomb. I think rock tomb is more accurate than rock throw. That might do a lot. Because that's quite effective. Will this rock to one shot from that HP? It does. Let's go. I mean, a crit again. A lot of these are crits. I'm glad. Oh, Laughtail gets a level up. Rattata. Or Rattata, however you want to call it. Alright, Esmeralda. Snap out of confusion. This rock tomb should actually do quite a bit. It, okay, just one shots. Almighty is uh, almighty.
Okay, I want to heal. In all honesty, damn. Just hoping to get through that without seeing a a mon. Sorry if you guys heard that. I was taking a sip of my pop or soda, whatever you want to call it. I'm Canadian, so I call it pop. Just a little bit of EXP, right? 58, not bad. Honestly, could be worse. Could be way worse. I'm pretty sure I did everything that needs to be done in Jubilife. Normally you're supposed to talk to the clowns, but I don't know what else there is to do in this in this version. Maybe I'm missing something, but I'm pretty sure I have to come back here later on in the story anyway. Oh, I do have to come back through there, come to think of it. Alright, I want to get uh, Laugh Tail to 14. Makuhita. Razor Leaf should do a good... <laughs> I was going to say Razor Leaf should do a good chunk, but then it just decided to click fake out. I get Razor Leaf has a higher chance to crit, but this is absurd. I'm pretty sure every single Razor Leaf this episode is crit. And I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure every single Razor Leaf has crit this episode. Probably just jinxed it here. Yep. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to mention in the last episode uh during the off-screen grinding i figured out that barney's hidden power is hidden power fighting it's not very oh i didn't realize it was a speed tie this entire time that was really scary but i found i found that out because i was fighting a puchiana and i was like oh i should use the I should have used hidden power to see if it was super effective. I think I I don't want that. Um, and then I I accidentally killed it with bug bite, so I didn't get the chance to use uh, hidden power. But then I ran into a zigzagoon right afterwards, and I clicked hidden power, and it was super effective. So there's only one type that's super effective on normal and that's fighting so there was literally no other answer for it <clears throat> okay another double battle my god he put drown put a lot of battles here he was really looking to take him on from me here uh, he might <laughs> Nah, actually, I don't think he will. I will use Covet there. I'm gonna switch into Almighty. I would have switched into All Terrain, but I don't want Wing Attack to be a thing. Yeah. Even the Water Gun's a thing too, but. I will definitely take out the uh, the Psyduck before I can use Water Gun on Almighty. I don't think Almighty outspeeds this Bureau here too. Almighty's really slow, like really slow. No growl. Though I don't know if that's gonna save it. Actually, it might. 
it more than likely will actually come to think of it because the minus one attack actually matters a lot this early on I take it back it didn't matter at all <laughs> I really I was confident he was gonna live that I was genuinely confident he was gonna live that Um. Well, I will keep Esmeralda in, and I'll go to Alter. Oh my God, that Covet did so much. Adaptability is so strong, genuinely. Sorry about that. Had to mute for a quick second because I ended up burping a lot. Um, gonna go for the bubble. Oh, bubble hits both. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought bubble only hit one. So in that case, I maybe should have went for the absorb on the cubone. Sing. I see. I see. We're playing that game. Playing the game where I don't have any awakenings because Drayana refuses to give me them. But I don't think it matters here. I think All Terrain will uh, still take it out. The only thing I don't like about my team right now. Oh wow, it didn't even kill. The, that's kind of an issue. Ooh. Um, the only thing I don't like about my team right now is they're kind of slow. Like, everybody's kind of slow. All terrain gets a little bit faster when she evolves, but... And Esmeralda's kind of fast? No! I didn't want it. Don't care about Baton Pass. Mm. No, I actually... Depending on who I go and who I who Esmeralda becomes, because I like I said I want to make Esmeralda into an Espeon. I think that's the best bet for me. Super fast, super hard hitting. Uh, magic bounce is great, and uh, it actually has I think decent special defense. I think that's the stat that they gave as the the 90, because each evolution gets a stat that's 110. 130 and 90 and I think Espeon's ended up being special defense is 90 uh, speed is 110 and special attack is 130 which is really really good because it's super super hard hitting and it's actually 110 is still really fast but if fairy type is in this game would mean that this game's at bare minimum to date with Gen 6. Oh, come on. A C dot. Um, but yeah, this game's bare minimum up to date with Gen 6. Ugh. Sorry, I had to mute again to burp. Okay, I'm just gonna repel. I'm tired of running into wild Pokemon. And if this game is bare minimum up to, up to date with Gen 6, that means there's... 110 is still actually really fast. It's not just fast, it's really fast. There's not a lot of mods that are higher than... 110 in gen 6 and below gen 7 is where things start to get a little out of hand but i don't know if gen 7's in this this might just be up, only up to date with gen 4 but like kind of gen 6 stuff in the sense of it's fairy and gen 6 mechanics and abilities 
but... If that is the case, so it's only Gen 4 mods... Um, then... Um... 110 is dummy fast, like, actually really, really fast. <laughs> Because they didn't make a lot of mons over 110 in Gen uh, in Gen 4. Like if you were hitting 100 in Gen 4, you were doing good. Like you were considered fast. But 110, 120, 130, those stats, you're you're flying. <laughs> Running so fast, your feet ain't touching the ground. All right. Yeah, Covet's not gonna one shot, sadly, but this next one will. I'm still scared because I haven't run in. Well, yeah, I haven't run into anything that has like Sonic Boom or uh, Dragon Rage. So anything with like set damage, and I'm terrified of that. I'm really terrified for the moment that I come across that because it's gonna matter a lot. And dear lord, this covet is the covet is doing so much damage out of Esmeralda. It's kind of insane. Psychic would actually be so good for my team too if Esmeralda becomes an SPR. Because it uh, it resists fighting. And fighting's good against uh, Almighty. Though it's another bug weakness, which really sucks. In all honesty. But even if it were to become Umbreon, it'd be even worse, actually, defensively. Because it'd be another bug weakness and another fighting weakness. Jolteon wouldn't be bad either. He's dummy dummy fast. He's, his, stat, uh, his 130 stat was speed. Definitely that I could do as well, but an electric type is kind of meh for me. I do have two things that resist ground, but I don't want to add ground weakness because Almighty's weak to ground. So hopefully, I. Uh, I get an Espeon. Damn, Altering got a level up from that. Let's go. They don't give you very much money in this game. <laughs> I feel like I'm always broke. Oh no. I feel like now I'm gonna run into issues with Barney leading. But, I can get another encounter here. Actually, I think I can get a few encounters.
oval stone. It's actually not terrible. I still have a Weedle in my... In my, uh... My PC. Which isn't terrible, honestly. Because if Barney somehow goes down, I can replace it with the Weedle. Weedle's got a better typing, honestly, too. I'm not gonna lie. But Barney's at a better level, so... Uh, this is definitely a new encounter, but I want to see if I can get to the... Is there not a hidden item? I don't know, it's an item up there. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Fampy. <laughs> Again. Uh, is this the return of Alphonse? I think this is the return of Alphonse. This is definitely the return of Alphonse. And honestly, I really want to keep a bug type on my team. Because. Oh, that crit is great. Just don't crit again. Don't crit again. Um. The next gym? Not the. Not the. One more, actually. Oh, Jesus, that did nothing. Okay. Not the one we're literally in the town of, so not Orberg, so the rock gym. But the one after it is a grass gym. Bug type great. This is the return of Alphonse. Alphonse! Let's go! The redemption arc. I can use this on my team. I'm almost positive I can use Alphonse on my team. Because Geodude, or Almighty, is a riggedy riggedy rock type. <laughs> yep, rock ground, so that's fine. Like I said, it's just the primary typing that matters. The secondary typing is whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna edit my layout real quick. Alrighty, Alphonse is all prepped up on the layout and ready to go. Let's go! The return of Alphonse. The redemption. Oh, wait. Damn it. I didn't want to run into a mon there. Oh! I could have cut a larvy tar! Oh, but it's a rock type. It's a rock type. say let me get Barney out of there real quick <laughs> that could have been real scary so I have a lot of mods for this first gym um, I lose this first gym could be mad although Alphonse does nothing to help me for the second gym I have literally one mod for that So that the second gym is again <laughs> bane of my existence. <laughs> no, I I promise you guys we are getting past the second gym this time around. I'm also gonna heal real quick. And I think we get another new encounter. I think we get an encounter in the mine.
I think I get an encounter in here. Ooh. And in all honesty, all right, give me a fighting type, like a match off. Oh, actually, that helps out a lot, ironically. A poison flying type is ironically quite good for me. But I have nobody who can hit it safely. At least I don't. Hmm. You know what? Uh, Alphonse might be able to do some work against it. Hit it with a headbutt. How much does Astonish do? Nothing. Hit it with a headbutt. Great. It missed the supersonic. That's actually beautiful. Hit it with another headbutt. Oh. Let's go. Alphonse, come on, man. Come on. I didn't want you to... I wanted to catch it. I unironically really wanted to catch that. Oh my god, Alphonse. Come on, man. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. That was definitely a very interesting episode. But if you guys liked the episode, or if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Make sure to have yourselves a great day, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace!